Let's do a prime number sieve. Let's sift out the prime numbers between 1 and 100. Well, what is a prime number? A prime number is any, any integer. An integer is a whole number, not a fraction. A prime number is any integer greater than 1 that is divisible only by itself and 1. Well, it's got to be greater than 1, so 1 is not a prime number. So we are going to cross off 1. 1 is not a prime number. The next open number is 2, and it does fit our definition. It is only divisible by itself and 1. So we're going to put a circle around 2. Now we want to cross off all the multiples of 2, and that would be all the even numbers. Two, uh, after 2, it would be 4 and 6 and 8 and 10. And you realize those all line up in nice columns. So I have a column that we can use to cross those off. All the numbers under 4, and then under 6, and under 8, and under 10. We can cross off, and don't forget the column under 2. So we've crossed off almost half the numbers in this chart by now. Probably half the numbers in this chart. The next open number is 3. 3 is only divisible by itself and 1. So we'll put a circle around 3. And the multiples of 3 are 3 and 6 and 9. So let's cross off 9 and 12. And hmm, you know what? All the things that are in a diagonal down from 3 are multiples of 3. So let's do something a little different here and cross off the, the 3s that appear in that diagonal like this. Is it true of 6? 6, 15, 24, 33, 40. Yes, those are all divisible by 3. So let's cross them off as well. And then here's 9, and all the numbers in a diagonal from 9, oops, are divisible by 3. Ooh, do you see a pattern here? Where do you think the diagonal will be that has all 3's in it? I think it's going to be here at 30. So let's pick up one of our bars and start it there at 30 and cross off that. And then the next one is going to be starting at 60 and go diagonal like that. Should be about that long. Almost. Oops. And then the last pair is 90 and 99. So those are now crossed off. And then the next open number is 5. 5 is prime. Notice the ones we haven't crossed off as we work our way from small to large. Those numbers, the next open number is going to be a prime. Well, you probably know that all the multiples of 5 end in 5, or they end in 0. We've already crossed the zeros off because they're multiples of 2. So let's cross the multiples of 5 off. What's the next open number? It's 7. So now realize that we have already crossed off 2 times 7 because that was even, 3 times 7 because it was a multiple of 3, 4 times 7 would have been even, so we would have crossed it off. 5 times 7, we crossed off because it was a multiple of 5. 6 times 7 because it was even. So 7 times 7 would be the first one that we haven't crossed off. So let's go ahead and cross off 7 times 7. 8 times 7 would have been even. 9 times 7 would have been a multiple of 3. 10 times 7 would have been even. 11 times 7. You know, the 11s we can probably take care of now before we find the rest of the 7s. So 11, all the 11s, the multiples of 11 are double digit things, 22, 33, 44, 55, and so forth. And so let's put a diagonal bar. I'm going to move this around like that and cross off all the multiples of 7. Okay, back to this problem of 7s. We've already crossed off all the multiples of 11. We've crossed off the multiples of 12 because they would have been even. 
7 times 13. Now well, let's see here. 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 3 is 21. So 70 and 21 would be 91. There's another one that we can cross off. And 91 and 7 would it be 98. It's cross off because it's even. Okay. What's the next open number? That's 11. We just took care of the 11s. 13 is the next open prime. So let's get a circle around our, our open primes. Now, 13 times 2 we would have crossed off because it would have been even. All the multiples of 3. So 13 times 3 should be crossed off. Times 4 because it's even. Times 5 because it should be in this column times 6 because it's even, times 7 we found down here. Well, if 13 times 7 is 91, then 13 times 8 would be off the chart. So we found all the multiples of 13 that are between 1 and 100. So 17, you know what? The, re the same thing is true for 17. We found all the multiples of 17 that are on this chart because we crossed them off when we crossed off all the multiples of these other numbers. So as it happens, all the rest of the numbers that are open are primes. Let's put a circle around them. And that is what we mean by a prime number sieve or the sieve of Eratosthenes.